Hello and welcome to the new Power BI video tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a chart like this where the line is disconnected. So many times because of the missing values uh, we want that it should not show onto the visual and what Power BI automatically does is, is basically creates the visual. So to show you again by for a default scenario this is a scenario where we have this date uh, let's say we have this date uh, where exactly what we need is the date and we need value it shows you a properly connected line right whereas we know that after 3rd January 4th and 5th we did, don't have any value so what it does is it shows 3rd it shows no value over here and directly shows it onto the 6th Jan which is 10th so it automatically produces this connection Whereas, let's say if we don't want this default behavior, then what do we need to do is something which I will show you. So, for this, the data set is very simple. If you see, I have this line chart where I have the dates. For some of the dates, I don't have the value, right? It is as simple as that. So, now once we don't have the value, what we need to make sure is over here that over here in the date uh, function, we should have uh, something called as checked show items with no data right so that is something we need to make sure we do that also another setting we need to make sure we do that is the uh, on the x-axis we have to make sure it is categorical so once it is categorical come over here and say that show items with no data so that way it will show the items that is not having the data so that is something which is very useful so if you want this workbook where i am creating these all of these scenarios then the then the details are present in the description on how to get it also data sets related like this order data set and all if you want this this information then this information is also available over here uh, in the data set folder the link for this particular one is given in the description here you will come to my data set file which contains so this data set file which basically contains the sample superstore and other data set that I regularly use. Also if you want to access the all of my Power BI videos 300 plus videos that I have created then you can easily come over here search any of the video that I have posted and jump on to that using the link that is present here. That way your journey is very easy like someone someone is accessing it over here so this is to help you more and more and help you in your learning journey if you like it then please hit the like button share with others on social media like linkedin or twitter and with your colleagues so that uh, you you all will have a good learning ex experience with me with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic